Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Aspen Tech channel. So this video is related to the simulation of stream saturator in Aspen Hisis. And obviously this equipment is very much important when we are discussing about the humidity effects on a process. Obviously, if we remember a process which is an air separation process where the air is fed to the compressors, which are the multi-stage compression systems, humidity effect plays a wider role in air separation processes and in obviously not limited to the air separation process but obviously to the different types of processes. Similarly, if you want a rigorous design of a process where humidity plays a vital role or if it is involved as a parameter in a system, then obviously we need to take it into account. One way of doing it that you do the calculations on Excel or some other calculator and every time you give the conditions of compositions manually. But what is the purpose of simulation then? So obviously this stream saturator allows us to just give the input of required humidity in the system and the feed properties and it will give outlet conditions. So the purpose of stream saturator is to add the water stream to a stream to increase its humidity and obviously it will help us in getting estimates of the other properties like wet bulb temperature, dry bulb temperature and so on the other properties. What we need to do is we need to specify the humidity value in the system. Most likely it is the humidity value in the system. Obviously we can specify the wet bulb temperature and other parameters as well. Now how we can find it? This is the symbolic representation of saturator where feed is entering the water stream is entering and we are getting the product stream. So what we need to do, we need to solve a question and the question states that it is desired to use a 60% humid air stream and the composition of the stream is 78 mole percent nitrogen, 21 mole percent oxygen, 1 mole percent argon in Aspen Hysis. The flow rate of the air stream is 100 k mole per hour with temperature and pressure 25 degree centigrade and 1.013 bar. Use stream saturator to achieve the required humidity and use Pengrobinson as thermodynamic property package. So let's move to Aspen Hysis and solve the simulation task. So first we will add the components and what are these components? Nitrogen, oxygen, argon and obviously we need to add water here as well. Then going to the fluid package, click on add and select Pengrobinson as the thermodynamic property package. Then going to the simulation. There are different ways of searching it as told before like stream saturator. One method of searching it like that going to manipulator and the stream saturator is here or even if you scroll it down a bit the stream saturator is below the Gibbs ring. So clicking on stream saturator doing the connections of the stream saturator this one is feed this one is water stream and the product stream. So first we need to specify obviously the feed stream and the feed stream is 25 degree centigrade 1.013 bar 100 kg mole per hour and if we double click it and give the required mole fractions 0.78 for nitrogen 0.21 for oxygen and 0.01 for argon and clicking on ok. So it has given us an answer but what is the checkpoint that whether our required answer has been achieved or not. So we need to go to this design and go to this parameter and obviously by default the value is 100 but we need to change this value like if we delete it so obviously it is under specified it means that it requires one parameter to solve it like I can give a relative humidity of 60% and it has given us the answer like the water dew point is this, wet bulb temperature is this, partial pressure is this one and it has given us the answer and now in the worksheet obviously the all the data is solved and if you go to the composition this composition is obtained for a 60% relative humidity. If we even vary it and take it to 50, then obviously composition is changed. So obviously we can in fact check the effect of humidity on a process and by using this equipment in the process, obviously we will avoid the manual compositions and we can do the sensitivity analysis in the process like we have discussed in our previous video which was lecture number 92 that making most of the simulation or post simulation steps that perform the sensitivity analysis so in the sensitivity analysis, we can check the humidity effects as well. And all these conditions and all these calculations have been based on the reference conditions, which are 25 degrees centigrade and 1.013 bar. But these are the process conditions. Like if process conditions change, we can simply go here. Like in case, for example, if we do not want to use the process conditions, 
and we say it is 25 degree centigrade and 1.013 bar so it can also be solved like this currently the process conditions are same as that of the reference conditions but obviously that may not be the case in every system so that's how the stream saturated is solved in aspen hysis please do watch like and share the video and subscribe to the channel aspen tech please click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel please stay tuned for the more exciting videos related to this channel thank you so much till then it's goodbye stay tuned